So this is the 16 count form, uh, sword and buckler, now done, not, so at long distance we had the sort of big, big cuts associated with it here, and now as we move into uh, the middle range, we're going to have smaller cuts. We're going to do the same form, but instead of, again, these big cuts, we're going to do, move from arm power to more wrist power. You're still not, it's not entirely wrist, you're still going to move your arm, but you're going to be constrained behind your buckler here to protect your hand. So I'm going to do it again from the front and from the side. Okay, so as we start out with this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoop, yep, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. On the side. Here, in the frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm not sure if I did a one, four, two at the end of there or a one, two, two. It should be one, four, two, but you can see what's going on. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so uh, the close range version or the middle range version of Sword and Buckler adapted from the sixteen count.